Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Would you believe, look at that sky. October, and the sky looks like that. Glorious. Anyway, today we're going up there. Hopefully, it's not as windy as it feels down here. I'm one fit. Well, that doesn't help. I've got half a house and be back. Anyway, onwards and upwards. All the way up here, there's a chair, look. The roof would be not too straight, wouldn't it? Visited by the Prince and Princess of Tech, August 23rd, 1872. What's your head for heights like? I do appreciate heights don't come across very well on camera. Anyway. We've come from, there's a car, I'm not too sure to be honest, down there I think, yes, I think it's down there, um, so we've walked, we walked around there, up here, and through that gate where the people are now. Nearly made it. I have no idea if I took the wrong way or not. No idea. And I'm blowing though. However, the view from the top is so worth it. See you up there. A little bit more. Got these makeshift fences in. Or, well, you know, I guess to keep people away from that area. Uh, they weren't there last time I came, so they have been put in since. There we go, they've blocked off the, the pool as well. There you go, that wasn't fenced off last time I come. I've never been, I've never been in it personally, but I've seen people go in it. Uh, yeah, they're blocking, blocking off for erosion and because of uh, wildlife, it says on that sign. All right then, I've been walking for a long time. Uh, the amount of people I'm seeing is slowly dwindling down to nothing. I haven't seen anyone for a, about 15 minutes. I think I just stumbled across this. Not the flattest of uh, positions, but I'm kind of hoping these rocks will uh, give me a bit of shelter from the wind. So, yeah, I'm not going to pitch a tent yet. <laughs> it's that, uh, that one I bought from Team you I'll pop one that pitches itself in three seconds. So, I can afford to let the, the light disappear. Yeah, straight away. Just crouching down. And the wind's just non-existent. But as soon as you get up here, it comes again. Whew. So, if anyone doesn't know the area, if anyone doesn't know the area? Yeah, anyone who knows the local area, big lake over there, that's Rudyard Lake. So if you're on Rudyard Lake, if you're on Rudyard Lake today, 
Oh, there doesn't seem to be many on there. Or any on there, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, it's only half five, so it gets dark. About seven. So what's for tea? We have a curry. Got a bit of naan bread. A chicken tikka bowl tea. Old moot cider, cherries and berries. Cheers. It is cold. Originally, I was just going to go summer sleeping bag, and summer in the very last minute told me to double check the temperature, and it still said eight degrees. And I thought, well, I'm in the temp, I'm in the, um, I'm in the tent, I'll be all right. And then I looked at what it said feels like. They said four degrees for winter sleeping bag. So yeah, we're in the winter sleeping bag. That was a last minute.com decision. However, I think it will be the right one. Yeah, it's massive and it's bulky and it's horrible to carry, but keep me warm tonight. Anyway, cheers. Curry's cooked. Just warm this nambred up. My dad taught me a little, uh, a little lesson once. My dad or my mum. Sprinkle a bit of water on the nambred. They should crisp it up. Oh, best to do anyway because it's. Oh god, it's horrible. Anyway, we all know that curry's gonna go all down me. So I'm prepared. Kind of. What are you saying? I know. I wish you could have some as well. Oh our bread's sticking. Yeah. Stodgy. Oh man, what's going on here? Oh no, we're just in a mess. Take two, could be. Oh, you sugar! Yeah. Some fireworks going off over there. Eh? long way away. This is where we are. The lights of the town slowly start to come on and the farms. Yep. Yeah. Can't lie, appreciate you can't see me. However, you see the tent? See the tent? No idea. Anyway, it's just got dark very, very fast. And I mean very fast. So just once the tent up, I have guided it down, so it's got uh, four pegs and then four guy lines. So, I've got a new, uh, new sleep pad. I brought it back in July, but as you know, I prefer hammock camping. Anyway, I'm hoping... Oh, I'm hoping one, it doesn't need a pump, I can pump it up my mouth. And two, I'm hoping it's got no leaks. Because,
yeah i've not actually tried it yet stupid i know but uh welcome to rob outdoor one hour later jesus pump was 40 quid but i ain't paying 40 quid i've only paid 20 quid for a, a sleep bag and i'm thinking i should have paid 40 quid for a pump I have got with me as well, I've got the bivvy bag as well. Because it is due to rain. It's due to rain from about three o'clock in the morning. And if you saw the unboxing of this uh, pop-up tent, you'll see the seams are very much leaky. So, I'm half tempted to get in the bivvy bag, in the tent, I feel like I'm in a luxury hotel. Got bags of room in here. I am still undecided whether I'm getting in the bivvy or not. The only downside with the bivvy is it's only you can only get in it at the top. So it's oh, it's so hard to get into. Yeah. Obviously the upside is gonna be dry in it. I might just uh I might just risk it. Right for one night, one it? Anyway, I've got some Maltesers and I've got plenty of stuff to download it. So, on that note, unless anything happens, I'll see you in the morning. So, with all due respect, I hope I see you in the morning. Night people. Morning. Time is now 20 to 7. Oh god, it's cold out here. I suppose I best get up. Um, pleasantly surprised to be honest. I'm not sure if it's rained or if that's just condensation, I'm not too sure. Um, it's been very windy all night, so uh sleeping bag is a little bit damp around by my feet where I've just been touching the sides, single skin tent and all that. But yeah, otherwise, all good. Oh, Anyway, let's have a look what it looks like out there. As expected, to be honest. A little bit foggy, no view. <sighs> oh, right, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna brave it. Very, very cold on this morning. I'm going to get my heated gloves on and then head back down. There's this morning's view, not really much of one. Left no trace apart from a bit of flat grass. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you are still here, as ever, really appreciate it. And uh, if you're not already done so, please do like the video and subscribe. It makes a big difference, it really does. So, uh, yeah, other than that, if any more drama happens on the way down, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Cheers.